Hello everyone, this is RJ and I want to welcome you joining me in praying through the scriptures. As we are going through uh, the topical Bible reading of Fruit of the Spirit, I wanted to remind us once more that this uh, reading schedule is for every single day and I hope that it will give us a new understanding of each topic that we read through. And today, uh, the topic in continuation of the topic of patience, we read from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 and 7, where it says, Love is patient, love is kind, it isn't jealous, it doesn't brag, it isn't arrogant, it is, isn't rude, it doesn't seek its own advantage, it isn't irritable, irritable, it doesn't keep a record of complaints, it isn't happy with injustice but it is happy with the truth. Love puts up with all things, trust in all things, and hopes for all things, and endures all things. Now I do have to say, I was a little taken away when I saw this uh, passage, because this would be more appropriate for uh, weddings, as we uh, know as a definition of love. And it seemed like it is only pulling out that word patient in the first verse. And it is true. Uh, it seems like the patience that we are switching gears into is more about the patience that we have for others. But I wanted to take us back and re reflect on how we can be patient toward others. Because we truly are incapable of being patient to toward others. Our ways of judging others, the ways of looking at people or prejudice and biases that we have, I don't know how patient I can really be for all the people that I meet. But it pulls us back onto remembering the reason why we are called to live in this harmony of love, being patient and kind and not jealous toward others, starting from our spouse, our families, and also to the world. It's because we have a loving relationship with Christ. And for me, the last verse 7 came back to my heart where it says love puts up with all things trust in all things hopes for all things and endures all things of course this is an outcome of if we are loving and as we are patient and kind to others that will make us uh, go through all things and trust in all things and hope in all things and endure in all things but I also have to remind us that that loving relationship that we have with Christ is the reason why we can put up with all, He can put up, God can put up with all things with us, that we can trust in all things for, 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 for our Lord, hope in all things, and especially with patience endure all things. So it comes back to that love. And it is reminding us to love God more in this time where it seems like it is so hard to love others so let's have time to pray together let us pray lord we thank you for this time that we can come together and that we can pray and we can really seek your will in our lives yes it is true that it's so hard to love others and be patient toward others when it seems like even my life is falling apart. But we, remind, we are reminded that it's because of your love that we can be patient. It is because of your love that we can trust in you. It is because of your love that we can endure in this time. So help us to love you more. Help us that through your love, we'll be able to see how you make your will be done. And may that love be shared with this world the world that suffers from injustice the world that suffers from this virus we know that the only answer is your love so let us have a time to pray and intercede for all who are suffering because of the virus that we have and let us also continue to pray for the cry of the people crying out for justice and raising their voice against 
racism. So let us have an extended time of prayer together. Let us pray together. Now please join me in the prayer that our bishop had asked us to pray every day. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank you for your blessings, past, present, and future. You are a rock and the source of our hope in all things and at all times. As Jehovah Jireh, our provider God, we ask you this day to stretch out your mighty hand and eradicate from the face of the earth forever this virus called COVID-19 that is spreading rapidly from continent to continent. We also pray that you, Jehovah Rapha, our healing God, will place your hand upon all those who have been stricken by this virus and restore them to full health. Be with those who have lost loved ones and are grieving. Protect all who are caring for those with this virus and keep them from contracting it themselves. Calm our fears and provide us with the peace that surpasses all understanding. And strengthen us with the joy of the Lord and help us to hold firmly to the hope that only you can provide. Unify us that we, the Virginia Under Conference, may be able to experience anew the promise of your presence in and through the unity of our faith, hope, and trust. In you and the days ahead and forever, we offer this prayer in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us continue to pray the prayer that our Lord hath taught us. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining me in prayer today. And I pray that we will continue to come back to the love that only our Lord can provide. Have a blessed day. 
And please continue to pray for this nation who is going through the pandemic. Stay safe and healthy. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.